Hello everyone, and thank you for checking out my video. With the recent patch, a handful of weapons, armor, and stratagems receive buffs and tweaks. For this video, we'll be looking at the ballistic shield in heavy armor that has the perk of explosive resistance. Since the ballistic shield is more suited for automatons, as it is not as useful against terminids. To recap regarding the update, they made the ballistic shield have better protection by increasing the collision mesh slightly, and how the Helldiver wields the shield to be less exposed. For me, the most important fix they did with the shield is that you no longer drop or it is much harder for you to drop the shield when you ragdoll. That was the biggest turn off for me with the ballistic shield when I first tried it and I never used it again. Every time you ragdoll, you become shieldless and must do a walk of shame then bend over to pick up your shield exposing your democratic unprotected butt at automatons for them to shoot at. As for heavy armor, a buff of 10% less damage, which is actually pretty good. Also, I would like to add from the patch notes that Helldivers and Exosuits both had a bug that made them sometimes take explosion damage multiple times making things like automaton rockets to be deadly. This has been fixed. Expect to see less instant death from a single rocket. For this build, I will be using the Defender submachine gun for light armored enemies along with the Senator for medium armored enemies such as the Devastators. The Redeemer is also another secondary that pairs great with the Ballistic Shields. With these weapons as my primary and secondary, I'll always be using the Ballistic Shield when aiming. Do keep in mind that the shield takes up a backpack slot that will make our support weapon selection more limited unless you have a squad mate willing to carry your ammo pack. I recommend a support weapon for dealing with heavies such as hulks and tanks. Quasar, expandable anti-tank or even bringing both are great choices. You cannot even go wrong with the anti-material rifle as it is strong against bots, and it just received that 30% damage buff. For this video, I'll be using the Quasar Laser Cannon, Rail Cannon, and Airstrike. Now let's focus on the Ballistic Shield. It is a stratagem that takes up a backpack slot. It will be deployed if you are using a secondary weapon or a submachine gun as your primary. It can still block bullets even if it is just stowed away on your back. It has a durability bar, you can see it on the bottom left. From my testing, it doesn't take damage from small arms, even from Devastators. Until it gets hit by a rocket, and it will lose some durability. The rocket will knock you down, but you will survive. Keep in mind I'm wearing heavy armor with explosive resistance for this build. I still recommend dodging cannon shots from turrets and tanks. I also found which I believe to be a bug, when you use a stim while having the shield deployed, your character unequips the shield. It can be easily fixed by switching weapons. I do wish we could steam ourselves while using the shield. As I said earlier, this build lets you play hyper aggressive against bots. You can be a distraction for your squad mates to take advantage and having a shield lets you line up your shots better. I have been just casually strolling towards objectives if I don't see a tank, rocket devastator, and hulks since those are the biggest threat to this build. As for the primary, you only have two options for now, which are the knight and defender. I prefer the defender because it does more damage per shot while the knight relies on fire rate for DPS. It can be set to semi or auto, and it has a flashlight, it's a simple submachine gun, nothing much to say. For the secondary, you can pretty much bring what you want. I chose the Senator just for medium armored enemies and mostly for the looks. I have a bias for revolvers in terms of appearance. I am still hoping they would give this weapon a speed loader instead of manually reloading each bullet. As for the heavy armor with explosive resistance, here are some clips. For this one, I took two rockets and I landed on my head. All I can say is, heavy armor is starting to become more reliable, and paired with explosive resistance passive, this could become a main armor loadout for automatons. 
for this section, it will be tips and info which I forgot to record or include originally. For starters, crouching helps with covering yourself better with the ballistic shield. When running away from a group of enemies, switch to your support weapon so that the shield will be on your back blocking shots from the enemies you are running away from. Melee and fire attacks goes through the shield, so don't get any ideas of standing in front of a hulk thinking you are Iron Man. When you carry an item like an SSD, you will drop your shield so be wary of that. If you have any tips regarding this build, feel free to comment it down below. Now what I want to see from Arrowhead is that they add more submachine guns or weapons that let us use the ballistic shield. So far, we have gotten shotguns from the previous premium warbond and now the upcoming premium warbond looks to be for rifles. Being able to steam while shielded doesn't seem to be that broken and the character is able to steam themselves with one hand. So it may be possible they will update that or at least fix the bug that unequips the shield when stimming. That is the end of the video, I hope you found it helpful and if you have any ideas for a build, please let me know or if you want to see a weapon I want to take a look at or any combos. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!